Hey guys, welcome to Living in New Hampshire. My name's Cody and I'm a local real estate agent with eXp. In today's video, we're gonna cover what to expect when living in Exeter, New Hampshire. Exeter is a small coastal town located in Rockingham County, just 9 miles west of Hampton and 30 miles east of Manchester. Home to just over 15,000 residents, the town has a total land area of 19.56 square miles, slightly larger than the neighboring town of Stratham. Exeter continually ranks as one of the most beautiful towns in the entire state. From the historic downtown, which features lovely buildings with shops, restaurants, art galleries, and much more. Or walk down the tree-lined streets to discover historic homes, including the Lad Gilman House, now the American Independence Museum. For nature lovers, the area offers many outdoor activities, including hiking, biking, and water sports. Not only is it a beautiful place to visit, but it's also a great place to raise a family. Considering Exeter's school district continually ranks among the top in the state, enrolling just under 2,900 students in grades 6 through 12 with a student to teacher ratio of 14 to 1. They rank number 2 out of 71 districts for the best athletic program and number 12 for the best teachers. But as you might expect, this does come at a price. With property values soaring over the past year, Exeter experienced increases of up to 14.8%, resulting in a median home price of $436,454. Considering the seacoast town of Hampton has a median home value just $25,000 more, may be a reason why Exeter's population has remained quite stagnant over the past few years. For virtually the same price, you could live within biking distance from the ocean. When it comes to crime data, Exeter falls towards the top of the list compared to the nearby towns of Stratham, Brentwood, and East Kingston. Even with a slight increase in crime over the past five years, they still rank 2.7 times lower than the U.S. average. At the end of the day, even if a city has great schools, low crime, and a vibrant lifestyle but lacks well-paying jobs, it can be tough to justify living there from a financial standpoint. Fortunately, even though Exeter is a coastal town, it's still close in proximity proximity to nearby cities such as Manchester and Boston, both of which are major employment hubs for Southern New Hampshire. According to the data, the largest percentage of Exeter's population falls between the ages of 35 to 54, with the median age being 47.3 years. This results in a median household income of $77,120, which is slightly above the state average. When you take into account the cost of living near the seacoast, it's very common to see incomes above the six-figure mark. By this point, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that New Hampshire has drastic weather throughout the year. During the summer months, it's common to see temperatures in the low and mid 80s, with a stronger breeze the closer you get to the ocean. For spring and fall, the temperatures remain in the 50s and 60s with higher rainfall. Finally, during the winter months, it's common to have days in the low and mid 30s with annual snowfall of up to 56 inches. On average, Exeter experiences 122 days of precipitation and 199 days of sun sunshine per year. And that wraps up the video guys of what to expect when living in Exeter, New Hampshire. I hope you enjoyed this one and if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And as always, if you're thinking about moving to New Hampshire or you just have any questions, I'll leave my contact info in the description below. Thanks for watching.